Harry Styles turned down chance to be male lead in last Christmas movie Harry was the first choice for film director Paul Feig, but turned down the role. This left the path open for Crazy Rich Asians hunk Henry Golding to land the part opposite Amelia Clark. Video loading video unavailable click to play tap to play the video will auto play soon 8 cancel play now last Christmas, official trailer by Seamus Duff 08 51, November 9, 2021, comments Harry Styles was almost cast as the male lead in the George Michael inspired festive film last Christmas which ultimately starred Game of Thrones Amelia Clark and Crazy Rich Asians Henry Golding. The 2019 rom-com was directed by Paul Feig, who also directed smash hits Bridesmaids, and co-starred Michelle Yeoh and Emma Thompson. Paul has revealed he had his eyes on 27-year-old former One Direction star Harry to take on the lead, and somewhat tragic, role of Tom Webster in the film. However, singer-turned-actor Harry apparently felt he was too young to play the character, with 34-year-old Henry ultimately landing the role, much to the disappointment of 59-year-old Paul. The Hollywood director revealed all to the Sun, saying, I love Harry. We wanted him to play the part that Henry Golding played but he turned it down because he felt he was too young for the role. I've tried to get him in a few movies. Harry currently makes a cameo appearance in the Marvel film Eternals, previously featured in the Christopher Nolan-directed war film Dunkirk, and will next year appear in the drama Don't Worry Darling, directed by his girlfriend Olivia Wilde. Paul feels that Harry might now be too big a star to feature in one of his films, joking, Harry is a big shot now. Maybe we will get him when he is on the way down. Eternals director Chloe Zhao recently discussed landing Harry for his Blink and You Miss appearance in her fantastical superhero film. The British star plays a character called Eros, who is the brother of Marvel villain Thanos and claims to be a fellow Eternal who was sent to work on a different planet from Earth. The One Direction star makes a brief appearance in a mid-credits scene alongside a CGI troll character and acting opposite Dame Angelina Jolie, Lauren Ridloff, and Barry Keoghan. Explaining his including in the film, 39-year-old Oscar winner Chloe told Deadline, Harry as Eros was very much a package deal for me. I pitched the idea of Pip the Troll voiced by Patton Oswalt in Eternals, and Eros to Kevin, Feige, Marvel Studios boss, a while back, and I love the idea of exploring an Eternal who is beyond Titan and who may have influenced Thanos throughout the years the same way Eternals influenced us, Earthlings. And then, it wasn't like I suggested Eros, and let's go find actors. I kept tabs on Harry since Dunkirk, I thought he was very interesting. After meeting him I realized he is that character, the same way I cast the rest of my cast. There's so much of Eros in him. For me, if he says yes, and Kevin says yes, then it's a go. And I'm very happy they both did. Harry has reportedly signed a five-movie deal to appear as Eros in a string of Marvel films, meaning the star will pop up in a string of superhero blockbusters over the coming years. Fans of the star were delighted by his including in the Eternals film, which was released last week, and took to Twitter to declare his including as perfect casting. Follow Mirror Facebook Twitter comment.